Hey, welcome to Johnny Builds KSP. Today I'm going to go over the Cal 1000, but first I figured I'd show you something that I've been working on the last couple days. This thing relies very heavily on the control unit. And I, I can't believe it works this well, and I've, I've never been so proud of myself before. It's a truck. It's a transformer. If I stop it at the right time here, don't fall over the fall over. Reverse directions. No. We. Oof. Shit. Welcome to Johnny Builds KSB. Hey guys, as promised, a tutorial on the Cal 1000 controller. Uh, if you watched the beginning of my video, you're probably like, Oh shit, this dude's going to teach us how to make robots. Uh, nope, not yet. Uh, getting pretty good at them. I want to get a little bit better. Then I'll go over a basic robot tutorial in a future video, hopefully. But this one's on the Cal 1000. I'm using my intro ship here just because there's a lot of stuff going on. This is going to be pretty cut and dry. If you've watched my helicopter tutorials and whatnot, you'll kind of have a basic understanding of what's going on here. Uh, but this is just showing you the different things you can do with it. Uh, so this is what the main screen looks like here. You can add these little keys in. Adjust the keys up and down, left and right, and that's what gives you different motions according to what they have attached to them in the action groups. Now this one here in particular, this runs all the hinges on my billboards here. So if I hit play, see them go up and down, up and down. And the line here just kind of follows the little waveform, and that's what gets your motion going up and down. Some of the basic features on this, let's just start up here. This allows you to move, uh, move your setup here up and down, whatever you have selected. It's just for rearranging, making things easier. You can rename these. I usually don't. Helps you keep track of them. You can delete them straight from here instead of having to go through the action group to do it. This here is a super useful function, copy. It copies the current selection you have, select something else, you can paste it there. Next up is flip horizontally, just does what it says, it flips everything horizontally. Flip vertically, this comes in handy when you're building robots or where you have equal movement on the front and back side of zero. Zero is going to be, obviously, in the middle of your little track here. Well, z when I say zero, I mean the middle of the track. It could be two and a half seconds, three seconds. It all depends on the length. The length you can set, ten seconds, one second. Play speed up here. You can, you can set play speed to your main throttle which I like to do when I'm making uh, my little walking robots, just so you can speed them up and slow them down. Also good for troubleshooting purposes. Keep moving shit around and I don't want to do that. This here, uh, line the end point tangents, slash tangents with the start point. So what that'll do, if I click on that, it'll move the end piece where the first piece is, just like it says. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think, I haven't really tried to do it, but I don't think that you can undo in the editor, which, nope, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I wish, I really wish you could do that. Uh, next up, clamp all values between min and max. I, honestly, I, I don't know what this does. I have never used it. So, no idea. Select all points, obviously self-explanatory. 
add points. You can add a point in the line. Uh, or you could just double click where you want it to go. And that'll get you a, a point. Delete points. Uh, you could select one of these points here. Delete it. Clamp values. I, this is another one that I don't know what it does. Sharp and smooth. My wave line here is smooth right now, but if I click sharp, it'll make it just a straight line, which will give you, obviously, more of a sharp movement as opposed to a smooth movement, because that's what they say. That's what they do. You can rename them. You got different play modes up here. You got play once, which is how I have this one set. Just runs through this one time. It's all finished. You can play on repeat, and it'll just keep going. Uh, one thing of note, when it gets to the end, it'll start back down here. So if you're really high here, really low here, you're going to get a funky little, like, real fast jerk movement just like that. And then you got ping pong, where it'll just go to the end and come back. And then come to this side and go back. Kind of like a ping pong table. Get it? Uh, some of the things you can do on this, you can obviously attach things in the action group. Just select select the one you want here. Select what you're going for. Tell it what to do. Uh, one thing that I found out you can do is you can put on like lights and such. So if you look inside of here, bring this up a little bit. I have just just a ton of lights. So with this setup here, if I were to select the controller for that, which I'm not sure which one it is. Here we go. So I got turn light on, turn light off. So when I double click this, it'll turn the light on. See, so turn light on. If I come down here, it's turn light off. So basically, what I did was I used this to make blinkers. Look at that. It's just like Christmas. And you can use that for some other things too. Uh, these bay doors are attached in the same manner. I know I, my screen's a hot mess right now. Sorry about that. Organization is not one of my strong points. And if I close this up, this one I have just toggle bay doors, and this will open it. Obviously, it'll be a little bit slower, not inside the faceplate hanger. But that's about that's about it. That's just a quick quick little rundown. Uh, sorry, I don't know what a couple of these things are. I've just, I've never used them, I've never found a use for them. Maybe they have something to do setting it up like this. I have no idea. But, there's about zero, maybe two videos on the controller, so I figured I'd just go ahead and make one. You know, maybe, maybe you picked up something, maybe you didn't. I'm talking kind of fast. It's currently one o'clock in the morning. A little sleepy. But anyways, if you guys have questions, you can get a hold of me on uh, Reddit, Johnny One Shot. You can get a hold of me on Twitter, X and John We Trust X. Yes, I put X's at the end. I mean, you want to pick a name? What are you gonna do? And you can leave a comment here. A like, subscribe ask questions you can tell by my comment history i'm usually pretty quick about getting back to you guys i've got no problem you can dm me on twitter and send me pictures and i'll try to walk you through the best i can but thanks for watching uh i think my next video i'm gonna do a walker try to try to do a little walker tutorial we'll see how that goes thanks for watching